Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one select this room background layer and lock. Select this TV layer, also lock. And select this head layer. Let's go to solo and click this icon for see background. Select anchor point icon and move the anchor point down Clization tool and select this ear left let's go to solo and link to head layer and select this ear right go to solo also link to head layer and select head layer link to layer body select body go to solo and move the anchor point down Clization tool and unsolo all these layers. So, in this time, select this layer 1, go to solo, and select anchor point, move the anchor point here, Clization 2, select layer 11, go to solo, and move the anchor point here, Clization 2, and select layer 1, link to layer 11, select layer 11, link to layer body. And on solo these layers, select layer 2, go to solo, select anchor point, move the anchor point here, click selection tool, select layer 22, go to solo, and move the anchor point here. Again, selection tool, and on solo these layers. So, select layer 2, link to 22, select 22, link to layer body. And we have already a rigging character, and let's make animation. Go to window, open Duke Angela, and if you have not Duke Angela, I will add link on the description below. So, select this layer 2 and 22, let's go to click this icon, and auto rig. Let's click ignore, waiting for rigging. Okay, we have new controller, select controller, let's see. Nice, and change controller name, hand, right. And select this layer 1 and 11, go to Do You Angela and click Auto Rig. Click Ignore, wait for Rigging, and select Controller, let's see. Nice, go to Icon, Change Icon Size, and select Hand Right, go to Icon, and Change Icon Size. Okay, select this Controller and Change Hand Left. So, let's close Do You Angela. And right now we can make animation, select this layer body and press R, make rotation keyframe and go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut you can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard or let me show other way, click time duration and write plus 10. Click OK and chain rotation 6. And go to 5 keyframes, let's create new rotation keyframe again and go to 10 keyframes and change minus 4. Again, go to here, let's create new rotation, and go to 10 keyframe, change 0. Select keyframes, make easy or click F9. Select keyframes, and let's copy and control V for paste. Let's see. Okay, select again all keyframes, copy and paste keyframes. And select work area 8 seconds, and select full composition. Let's see. Okay, so in this time, select this body and let's add bounce animation for natural movements. Go to first, second, hold shape, press P and make new passing keyframe. Go to middle and let's move it down a little bit. Go to next keyframe and select first keyframe, copy pass. Make keyframes easy. And let's see. Nice, very natural. Select keyframes, let's copy and go to here, control V. Again, go to here, Control V, and here, and select two frames. Let's copy and go to here, Control V for paste two frames. Okay, let's preview animation. Nice, very good. And go to first second, select this hand left and hand right. Let's press P and make new passing two frame. Go to ten two frames, and let's change controllers like this for random animation. And go to 10 two frames, let's change like this. Again, 10 two frames, move it down. 
and next few frame again change like this again change like this again 10 few frames moved up and let's animation okay so select two frames let's make easy preview animation again okay and let's select two frames hold alt and move to left for more fast animation nice and select two frames for hand left let's copy go to last two frame control v and here control v and here control v select again two frames for hand right copy and go to here control v for pass and here pass and here let's see nice so let's go to first second and close these settings and back to project select this game video and let's drag and drop of compensation okay and move to behind tv layer and put here and press s chain scale and move to up let's turn off audio and let's move to a little bit go to mask select this rectangle tool and let's make mask like this equalization tool and let's see okay that's good so in this time select this game and go to layer new and solid layer and change color yellow click ok or let's change color blue click ok ok and go to pen tool and make mask like this ok and for smooth lines select this solid layer let's press M and let's close and open mask 1 change mask feather for smooth solid layer also select this press T and change opacity like this let's see okay and select this opacity let's create new two frame for opacity and go to two two frames one two for go to frame by frame two frames use page down in keyboard and change opacity like this go to two frames change again and two two frames change like this for random tv light animation let's see okay select two frames hold alt move to right make two frames easy and select two frames let's move to right and these two frames for random light animation okay and these two frames let's change like this and select two frames let's copy go to here control v select two frames again copy and here control v and here nice and select this layer move to front to tv layer okay pretty good so select this solid layer change name tv light okay so in this time for change tv light color let's go to fx presses search fx fill select fill let's use for tv light and change color blue click ok and open fx fill and go to here let's create new color key frame and go to next key frame open color cube and change color red and go to here change color again yellow and here change color purple let's see okay and next few frame let's open color change blue and next color let's change white and again next color let's click color cube let's try change green and say two frames make easy let's copy two frames and paste two frames like this again paste here and here and here let's preview animation 
Okay, not bad. So, in this time, select this TV light and the right mouse, let's spray compass, add the name TV light and click this checkbox for move all effects inside conversation, click OK and press T, change opacity like this and let's see, OK and we can change mode here, let's use overlay for more realistic lighting OK, that's good so guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck!